So we're here in Oxford at the Young Women's Music Project to find out what it is that they do and more importantly, why they do it. Let's go inside and find out more. So, Zara, okay. the Young Women's Music Project has been going for about 15 years, is that right? We're actually in our 60th now. Amazing. And I know that you um, provide some really great opportunities for women who want to get into music. Yeah. So, walk me through exactly what the project does. So we host bi-monthly workshops for young women aged 14 to 21 in Oxfordshire. So uh, skill sharing, they learn about women in history and um, lots of different opportunities to perform and get involved in festivals and all sorts of things like that. So we host like a festival every year that's based around talks and workshops and, a f and music so it's a proper festival to get boys in talking about that kind of stuff like language they use towards girls and all yeah. that kind of stuff but we still run like girls only things that's our main mission is to get more girls confident and making music regularly it's male dominated in, in, in anything like as a female I've been through like so much managers like you, you're always going to have those males that are going to try it with you yeah because you're a female do you see what I'm saying what do you think we can do about the lack of women in the sort of technical side of the industry so just a safe space for girls to come and try things out and not be put down and like yeah. spoken down to is it happens just naturally like all the time you just yeah. walk into a space it's kind of like what are you doing here do you even know what you're doing do you know what this cable is like do you even know what compression is do you yeah. know what blah 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 is and then straight away you're like i'm not gonna bother with this again you know i remember times when we were sound checking for example and i must have been about 19 at this point i wasn't you know really young and i've been sound checking for a long time and i stopped and the tech said can you keep going I was like okay and he's like I need to compress your voice compression if you know what that means I think that's probably one of the standout moments what about um, some of the stereotypes that women seem to almost conform to how how can female artists try and combat these these stereotypes just being true to yourself and sticking to mm. it you just get so much love like one of my number one artists of all time is Missy Elliott yes broke the mold like <laughs> how much and like the amount of respect I've had for her since I was a young kid um, just seeing how all her videos were out there and she just did what she wanted to do so I know that you are connected with loads of different artists and um, you know sort of uh, people in the music industry, how do these people help the young women that you work with? People come in to do workshops and talk, so hearing inspiring stories about someone's journey triggers so much for young people, it did a lot for me growing yeah. up. Seeing people perform live, you wouldn't believe how many young people under the age of 15 have not been to a gig. So you know, cool. if you, have you seen anyone live and then the whole class goes quiet? So who are some of those artists that you've taken some of the kids to see? We have had like the pleasure of hosting a lot of great names. We've had uh, Nole from, she's like a well-known grime artist. We've had Yara Bravo who came from Berlin to do a set. Wow. Um, we've had uh, Viv Albertine from The Slit, so more punk stuff. Yeah. Um, it, loads of great people and they're awesome local acts and, and supporters of what we do which is really good as well because it's right on our doorstep. So in an ideal world how would you like to see the, the sort of music scene in the UK change? I think ultimately I'd just like to see more women making music from a young age and sustaining it through their lives and to walk into a gig and be able to see women operating the whole show. So from sound engineers, lighting, you mm. know, the whole crew, uh, promoters, performers, more women playing instruments and feeling comfortable doing that. Like, mm. that's kind of what I want to see more of. In this other world, here we stand.